friends, I want to play in my journal, um, day planner actually, and I want to do these watercolor uh, crayons in it today, and I thought I would do um, that. I wanted to draw some a bird or something like that, so I'm just going to play with it. And um, and just do that. I'm just gonna doodle, doodle or something, a bird. Kind of like a fat blue bird or something like that. And then put some water on it. I don't know. Just play with it. So today I'm just playing with that. And this is some leftover, a little bit of leftover paint um, that I have. Um, on here that my brush was really dry. So I'm not sure, I don't think I've done watercolor on here yet. So, I just wanted to play with it. Mm, just doing some blues, first of all. Just wanted to doodle and play. And I'm just going to use a brush, not a water brush today. And I'm going to do a bit of orange, a bit of a black eye. got a lot of glue texture and stuff back here. But I'm just playing with this and seeing how it goes. This is a spring bird of some sort. i I play with my watercolors a bit. And do that. Do a bit of maybe orangey. Just having fun with it orangey bit of a leg orange and brown mixed in there and I'll probably do like a robin's egg or something in the background like maybe if I can I might mix like a little bit of blue and green or blue and yellow mix a little blue and yellow or something to get the color I want you see that I only have like a 12 um, crayon palette here but you can mix some colors together. So maybe I'll do some yellow in the background. And I got some paint in the background too. So I'm just playing around with it, seeing what I can get out of it. I could always cover it, but I don't like it. Something really cute and fast springy, although it's raining outside today and it's very gray, but it was uh, nice earlier. But Okay, so if I do a little bit of blue, it might just make some really nice, kind of scribble some blue everywhere. Just guess, guessing at what it's going to be like. You kind of know yellow and green, or yellow and blue make green, and I'm going to go with a little bit of the black outline. Water brush would probably be better, but I didn't go grab it. So, I'm just going to use a little brush here. What do I have up here ready? This is a little too thick. I do have some really thin ones. Well, I'm just going to use, I guess, this little round one. I've got more thinner ones somewhere here. What do I have in this bunch? I have to stop and go get a round one, or I mean, a little fine one. So I'm probably just going to go and play with my bird first here. It's actually not too bad. It's a bit big, but it's an eight. Let's just be careful on the edges how I do it. Play with it. Have some fun. 
See, I didn't want too much black and it worked perfect. Do a cute little, I don't know, whimsical bird here. For a journal page. I'm dipping it in, getting it really wet. And this is not watercolor, this is my day planner. Um, but I wanted something whimsical. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to draw another face. And I'm like, no, I want to do a spring bird. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm, go, I'm flipping it all around here because I just want to get my edge. Because I don't have a fine brush for that. So, I just want to get my edge. Nice. Oh, I like that kind of way the green is going. Blue and the green is making that teal color on the bottom. Get in that edge. Just get that black along there, pulling it out on. I like that. It's very cute. So I did mix the blue and the green in the bottom to get that color. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it the same way, because when I'm looking at the camera, it's just a duller blue. But here, when I'm looking at it, at it it's a really nice teal. So that's kind of... Unfortunate that uh, hopefully it'll show, but I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with the nice oranges, yellows, a little bit of brown around his face. And because I, I'm playing with just this brush here, not a proper brush, something finer, I'm going to turn it around to make sure I get the edge really nice. The way I want it. I like the background that I did that dry brush on because it, it looks like like scrapes, brush scraping or something. I don't really like that. Kind of neat. Now I'm going to go over the back and see how... Mm, it's not as blue as I want it, so I can add some blue to it. I wanted it kind of robin's egg almost, or is that the blue? Yeah, I think so. Blue green. Very light, and it's more coming out green. So I'll add more blue to it or something. I don't know. Play with it. Playing with watercolors, though, especially if you have like just a four, I mean a 12 pack, a <laughs> four pack. You play with it and you kind of get to know your colors a bit better. Go back to being a kid and mixing your colors. Having fun with it. Yeah, I like, I like it. See, I'm just being kind of careful around here. Because <laughs> I'm not using the best brush, just one that I had on hand, but I don't have another one here that I can use that would work. I gotta go grab all my brushes. I must have them downstairs still. He's really cute. I think I'm going to grab some of my blue. A little bit more blue to this. So I'm just now going on here and grabbing more blue. Don't know how much of it's showing because it doesn't look like it's showing too much when I'm looking up. It looks actually quite brown in the background. I must have it at really a wrong. Hmm. Is it the angle I've got my computer at? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it looks almost tan on my computer monitor or my laptop monitor, like whatever, the screen. I was hoping to get a little bit more. Well, it's looking nice and bluish now, more bluey green. I like that. Here I'm getting the right the color that I really want now, right there. 
So I think I'm going to add a little bit maybe of orange or red, maybe red to the top a bit. Just play with it. I like these arrows in the bottom, aren't they cute? A little heart in this one. Okay, I'm using a terrible brush. It's been beat up too many times. I think kids using it. Oh, look, I'm getting some red. I'm going to splatter some red. I'm like that. I love it. I was going to paint some red up here. I think I could paint some and splatter some. It's very cute. So that was fun. I think I'm done. I'm going to splatter a little black. And that will be my little page. So what I'm going to do, splattering a little, maybe a little much black, I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this page up and then show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to try white. I'm not sure how well the white works with nice splatters. So I'm going to really wet it. don't want to get my computer. Uh, white's not really showing as much as I'd like it to. Just getting it more wet, I think. A little bit. I wish it would show more for you guys. It's getting on the computer monitor, or on the computer. Maybe I'm just at the wrong angle here. I'm back, way back here, guys, and I'm trying to get a little bit more white on here. Well, that's it. I'm giving up on that. I think I've got to wipe my computer keys off here. <laughs> this okay. is him, my little birdie. I'm going to do black on his eyes. I did wet it, but it didn't quite go as black as I wanted it. So, I'm really wetting it now. And then I'm going to put a little dot of white, I think. A dot or two. There we go. Make him a little white. Don't think I don't know if I need to outline him anymore. I really like the black that I have on there. So I might do some pencil doodle around on a pencil. Yeah, I like that. It's not so harsh. So this is my third picture. Or, oh, still some wet there. Third um, day planner piece. I've done the clown face for the first one. I have done my Frida for the second and my little blue spring bird for my third. Hope you guys like him. He's so cute. So now I'm just kind of dueling in with some pencil here. Getting some detail or just, it's just fun. It's very whimsical, very childlike, but that's the best part. You can play and have fun with it. So, could do more layers if you wanted to. I might add just a little layer here of red. Just to see how it'll look. And I'll do a little more yellow in the beak area. Don't know how well that will work. You can also do um, the watercolor pencils. And that kind of thing. Oh, I like that. I like it a little runny. So I'm going to add a little more water. Water. I like that. I might. Getting so much black on here because I was using the black. But I might just outline this a little bit better with the black. I don't want to use the marker. The Posca. Pen. I 
I'm getting so black on my fingers. I'm just dabbing some more just to get a little more black on his head. And this is a very horrible brush. It's been beat up by students. It's splitting and everything. But it goes to show that you can play with whatever you have, even if it's kind of beat up. Have fun with it. It's just for play, relaxation. Pulling down some of that color and just letting it kind of fall down on his head. There's a, quite a bit of water on there, but that's okay. That's what I'm going for. I'm holding up the picture so then any overflow will come down on his body and stuff or on his head, wherever I'm painting, will just flow down. Here I don't want it to flow down. I'm grabbing a dried up, very well painted baby wipe. Now I want to blow this way towards my bird. But not being too particular. I think he's done. I like him. I like the little bit of red on there. Okay. I'm liking where this guy was going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up a little bit of the edges or the back. So I'm going to use my map because who knows where Birdie has been. And so we're going to put a map back there. This one's from Stampin' Up! And it's called, just to show you the package, it's called World Map. World Map. So I just want to put, I'm not even sure how much of it I'm going to stick on there. I've been using this one lately a little bit. I really like, whoa, my club soda almost fell over. <laughs> it would have been on the floor. And there we go. He's very cute. I like that. Crazy. Can you see it? Am I showing you guys properly here? I know my my uh, view or however it's called is not really good. The um, focus, that's the word I'm looking for. The focus hasn't been great on here. But even though I'm doing the maps and little pieces and that, it's still looking pretty cool. It doesn't have to match up with, with anything. It's just a really neat texture. I'm liking that. And making squeaky noises with my chair. To show you guys. It is looking when I have it closer a little bit more greeny blue in the background, but still not showing you the right color that I see. And I think I will throw in just a little, what do I want to throw in? I want some brown or something. Is this brown? It's more of a red. Gotta look at my colors. This is the one. So I'm just gonna throw in some texture down here. And if I would have had some brown paint or something like that up. I would have done that and just have him not just kind of floating but maybe on a branch or whatever it could be ground but something brown and there we go grab more brown I got I got this this is all this watercolor paint 
all that. I made a mess with it. Made a mess. I'm liking his branch or whatever this is. And I'm done. I am going to dry them up and be done. And maybe I'm going to put a sealer on them too. I'm going to put like acrylic finish, like this matte sealer on it. So this is it. I did a little scribbling with my pen, black pen. And done. Put April um, 2017. And this one will go right here. I got some few pages ahead of myself, but um, I didn't want to paint on top of like a thick paint or draw with my watercolors and there we go my little birds in there and I'm gonna close the book and it'll flatten out so it's perfect so hope you guys like this one don't forget to craft like a duck and I'll talk to you guys later bye